what's up guys it's ios and i'm missing and i'm back again with another video so in this video we have an iphone 7 plus here that we'll be using for ios exploitation so we'll be using a software called bibsuit to intercept all the http or https traffic on our iphone this is a very very simple process so if you have a windows laptop and you have an iPhone that you want to use for vulnerability testing or vulnerability research then this video is for you so just buckle up and let's start the tutorial okay great so the first thing we are going to do is to install web switch I've already installed it so I'm not going to install it again but I'm going to show you how you can install it yourself so just go into Chrome Or any browser of your choice and then search verb suite so this is how you spell verb suite like this okay good so once you see um this you see uh port swagger just go into port swagger and this is the verb suite um home page so um you're going to be downloading the community version if you do not have if you do not have money to purchase um the pro version you can purchase or you can download the community edition for free so just click on the community edition and it's going to give you this just enter your email and then they'll they'll send you an email and then you use the email to download um web suite so once you're done with that then um we can continue so i think by this time you are done installing birth suite um community edition or the pro version uh, depending on what um you want so the community ed edition is okay for what we are going to do if you do not want the pro version the community edition is also okay so we just launch web suite so just launch web suite like just like that wait for it to open and then once we are here just click on next and then click on start burp great so once you're here um just go into the proxy tab so there are a lot of things here i'll be showing you how to use most of these things so go to the proxy tab and then click on the proxy settings great so once you're here make sure that the um you're connected to the same wi-fi with your phone and then the computer so the iphone that you're going to be using for the vulnerability research should be connected to the same wi-fi as your computer so once we are here just click on add Great. So this is where we'll be adding the um, address and port that the suite will be listening to. So that is why I said you need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi as your phone and then your computer. So we'll be, we'll be choosing a port. So in this case, I'll be choosing port 8080. If you have another um, program or something that is running on um, this address and then the, the port then you might have to change it we might have to change the port but i'm not going to change it i'm going to leave it at port 8080 then click on the address and just if you do not know what to do just select the second one and it's going to work perfectly so once you are here just click on ok so this is added now the second thing is um our phone so we'll be going to our phone to continue the process there to set up our um phone for the interception great so the setup on the computer is done now let's do the setup on the pc so you can see that my device is connected to the same wi-fi as um my computer so i'll just, just click on this eye here and scroll down until you see configure proxy just click on it and then click on manual so from the um, IP address you use on your computer will be setting the same IP here so you can see for my computer this is the IP so I'll just type in the same IP which is um, one 
seven two then there's a dot and there's twenty uh, one zero point four great so once you type it make sure it is exactly what is in verb suite and then the port we chose 80 80 great so once you're done just click on save so that is it you we are, we are actually done with the setup there's another thing we have to do we have to install a certificate so great so just um just just quit this and we are here and make sure that interception is on so once the interception is on we'll go back to our phone and then install the certificate great so once you turn on interception or intercept uh, on web suite just go back and then open your browser and type I think it is HTTP so HTTP um, there is make sure you type it very well and then type burp sweet I think this is it something like this great so you see it takes you to this website okay so once you're here there's a button at the top here I can I don't know if you can see it there's a button there um, called install certificate just click on it and then it's going to ask you to um, this website trying to download a, a configuration profile yeah just click on allow great so it is downloaded so you just go back to settings and then you're going to see it at the top I think yeah so that this is it click on it and then it's going to say a certificate from port swagger click on install and then click on install and install it is done so it is not quite done because we will be able to intercept only http request but not https request so we will need to actually trust this certificate in order to be able to intercept http request so so just go to settings sorry um settings and then about and then scroll down to you see certificate trust settings and you, can, you will see port swagger certificate or whatever it is called just click on it and then click on continue great so once this is done i'll just connect um, the phone to my computer so you can see the screen whilst i do the interception Great, so I've connected uh, with three U2s so you can see the screen of my device. Okay, and then let's go to um, Burp Suite and you can see interception is on. So I'll just go to a website and then you see that mm, the interception will show here. Great, so let's search something like google.com. Great, you can see the interception is shown here, and then we can see from um sorry um Portswiga the interception has shown and from three U2s you can see that we are at google.com and they will have to um allow it or forward it before google.com will load. So this is how you'll be able to intercept all the traffic from your device. Great so now once i forward it let's see google.com will show or oh, let me let me give you a real side by side from the device so you can see what i'm talking about great so this was what i was talking about so let's just open another um let's go to i don't know let's go to crocs you can see whatever i do it just comes here Crocs, dot Python, anywhere. dot com. Then you, you will see um, the interception has been shown here. So I have to forward it before it will come. So just give me an error because I made an error here. Great, so 
you just have to forward it again to for it to you know actually reroute to that URL. So that's it. This this doesn't only work on um, website or something. You can actually intercept apps and a lot of things from the device. So you can see um, it is uh, the website is sending um, a, a request called get device count. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can do a lot with this. So. That is, it, that is how you intercept traffic from iPhones or iPad using Web Suite. This is a very simple tutorial. If you have a problem, just um, tell me in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you. Or you can DM me on Telegram or WhatsApp and then I will try my best to help you solve the problem. See you on another video. Bye bye.